right, guys, so I'm going to be recording two videos here. Uh, firstly, I'm going to be re finishing up. This is going... I didn't find any Pokemon. I, you know, this whole video has been my cousin's art, exhi uh, art exhibit. I didn't find any good Pokemon over there. So what we're going to do today... Let me turn brightness up on my phone. Uh, today is we're going to just lure up here. Uh, and then after this, it's going to be my late... It's going to be my kind of night... Um, hunt for Pokemon, I guess. Uh, it's going to be kind of, we're in a graveyard right now, which is what I was talking about in the previous, I don't know how many videos ago again, the Pokemon etiquette. Like I'm coming to the graveyard to do this at night. There's no one here. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not disturbing anyone trying to, you know, have their, their personal time. Uh, and you know, there's no one here. So I'm here now because this is the only time I feel like comfortable coming to the graveyard. I don't want this, this actually is a pretty busy um, graveyard, so I don't I don't want to be here during the day. What I did want to show is we did pick up another 10k egg. We currently have six 5ks, which are beautiful. We should pop these off. Um, I'll pop them off in this video. Uh, obviously, I'll pop them after I leave here, but I'll remember to throw them into this video uh, along with this 2km egg. Uh, so I've got a couple of things to hatch on up. Let's see, we got three 5Ks and a 2K. I'll get those hatched up, and then we'll start working on these 10Ks. Um, I did hatch one 10K egg that I didn't get to show you guys while I was at the uh, art exhibit. So let's go ahead and show that. Uh, here it is. This is a pincer. We went ahead and hatched that. I used all the candies I had to power it up to seven to 1373. Uh, and so I think it's a pretty beastly... Uh, pincer. It's not the greatest pincer, but I am happy with it at 1373. Uh, we also were able to hatch two 2k eggs, uh, which was this Charmander here and a Geodude. Also, I caught a Squirtle 487, so we're getting close to evolving there. We actually have enough to get a Charmeleon, but like I said, I'm going to hold off to like 125 candies. I'm going to get the most optimal Charizard I can get because right now, the optimal Charizard out of this, like the the average Charizard out of a 542 Charmander is like 1,500, and that's not really what I'm looking for. And I would assume in 100 more candies, I'm going to get a better Charmander than 542. And as you can see, nothing else eventful uh, that we caught over there. So we're going to throw on a we're going to throw on two lure modules as well as uh, an incense here, and we're going to get this going. And then in the next episode, it'll be my nighttime graveyard thing. It'll be a little bit later. Pay no attention to it saying it's 941 at the top, because it is clearly not 941. And hey, we're starting out with a decent Pokemon. Now, I did come here and lure these up before after work one day. Um, I got off of work at like 8 o'clock, so I made sure it was clear. that This, this area kind of dies down at around 7, so pretty much any time after that you can come here. Um, I, ju I just wanted to make sure my car is like fogging up like a, like a beast. I don't know. I don't know why. It's like a real issue that I have with my car at night. It likes to really fog up, and it's super annoying. And I don't, I don't get it. I need to figure out why it does it because, like, I can't. I can only see out of two windows right here. Both of the front windows is all I can see. We are now over 102 Poliwag candies. We are going to be 22 away from getting a Poly. Wrath, which is going to be huge. We've got ourselves a Pidgey here. I'll go ahead and uh, show this Pidgey because we just caught that. I won't be showing Rattatas and Pity. There might not be a whole lot of Pokemon in this episode, but uh, I thought it was something cooler that I could do, something vlog style like a lot of people do. I hope you guys enjoyed the artwork that I showed. I didn't get all of it um, because some of it was kind of hard to... Um, kind of hard to take a video of, so I just decided not to show a lot of it, uh, and so you guys did miss out on a little bit of artwork, but nothing huge, um, and then obviously, okay, I'm getting notifications, I'll turn those off after this, we also last night hit level 25, I did some evolutions of Pidgeys and Weedles, stuff that I don't need to show you guys, and I did hit level 25, which is hype, um, we're on that level 26 grind. I want to just get to level 30 so I can be done with it because at level 30, supposedly that's when Pokemon's CP stops increasing for you. Um, I think I'm not exactly sure of the breakdown that it was that I was told. Uh, it's not a huge deal, so um, I'm just kind of 
grinding towards level 30. Level 40 is the max, but once I get to level 30, the grind will kind of settle down. As you can see, there are no sightings. It's that, it's that late kind of at night that there are no sightings. Um, I'm half expecting a cop to kind of roll up on me and ask me what I'm doing in the graveyard. Uh, but like I said, the art, uh, it's just going to be all music based and whatnot. You guys obviously saw it before this. And so most of them were just other people's art. Uh, there was obviously more art than I got on, um, that I recorded, but the last one was my cousin's. Uh, she's like a sister to me. So, um, I definitely, I spent a ton of time there, um, just hanging out at the art exhibit and it, it was pretty cool. Uh, it's in kind of like a cool area. Um, it's in like a basement of an old building, so it's kind of real nice and old and kind of rustic. This is actually not bad. We're actually finding some decent Pokemon if I can select the Psyduck. I, I did evolve a Golduck last night. It was only a 1,200 Golduck, so it wasn't very good. So I'll, there's a lot of Pokemon that I evolved that aren't like the top tier that I'm that I'm not. It's not a big deal if I show you guys those. So I don't show a lot of my evolutions because half of them turn out to be some crap. Okay, do we have any other... We got a Rattata here. Alright, let's go ahead and catch this Rattata, and then I will cut out until we catch our, or find our next Pokemon. Uh, but I hope you guys did like... Let me know if you guys liked a little bit. It wasn't fully vlog style, but it had other stuff in this episode other than just the gameplay. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll probably, after this, show my drive the rest of the way. I'll do like a outside the window drive home um actually i already have like that footage but i'll probably throw that after this uh as kind of like a you know the after the drive home footage um and then maybe i'll wrap it up back at my house uh with the eggs or something like that uh but let's see if we can get anything epic out of these lures okay so my software was taking forever and there are two pokemon here i actually really need so i was like oh my gosh am i gonna have to catch these off recording but we've got a polywag here and then we also have a uh, uh nidoran male dude my car is fogging up like none other dude it's it's like a ridiculous thing right now i don't get it i need to figure out like what causes my car to fog up so bad like what is this Oh, there we go. Curved great. Yo, people are, like, getting out of their cars now and walking over to this Pokestop. This is definitely not... This is definitely not the time to do my spooky graveyard episode. But there's the Nidoran Mail. We're up to 81 candies, which is nice. I've actually been... I actually like these two lures. The last time I came here, they really sucked. I got, like, nothing out of them. Uh, but this time I'm actually getting some decent stuff, so I'm happy about it. So let's see if we can spin these yet. Yes, we can. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. It's really hard when you're going to sneeze to mute the mic. <laughs> like, really hard. Uh, but let's see here. Hopefully another Poliwag or two spawn. That'd be really hype. How close are we now with Poliwags? Uh, I we are like 108. So we're like 17 off. No way I get that now, but we'll definitely be getting it here soon. All right, guys, so after a little bit of an uneventful time, I had a, I found a Bellsprout that ran away. Or no, I, I caught a Bellsprout and a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, what the heck is his name? A Psyduck ran away. And then I caught a Weedle. No one cares about me catching a Weedle, but we've got a Slowpoke, which is nice. I need to start saving up Slowpoke candies for Slow King, which is my which is uh, my preferred evolution of Slowpoke. But we also have a Caterpie here, so we might as well catch that. I don't find as many Caterpies as I do Weedles, so I'm actually always okay with finding Caterpies because I don't really find that many. Like Weedles, Pidgeys, and Rattatas, I find a ridiculous amount of. Caterpies? Eh, I probably find more of some other Pokemon than I do Caterpies. So I'm always all right to find those. Well, let's see. Are these available to spin? Yes, they are. All right. Great ball. Anytime I get greater Ultra Balls, I'm happy. Or Raspberries, because I use a ton of those. Uh, but we got a little bit of time left here. Let's see. Hopefully we can find ourselves um, some more Poliwags or Nidoran Female. I really need Nidoran Female. So if I could find one of those, that would be awesome. 
Sometimes it seems like I ask and I receive. We've got another polywag here. Oh, getting so close to that polyrath. I'm so excited. And then I gotta start saving up for poly toad. Um, I have had some Pokemon running away on me, so I'm gonna switch to a great ball. And I'm totally gonna mess that up because I didn't flick it far enough. Um, but I have, so I'm just gonna be a little bit safer here and just go ahead and um, get the uh, gray ball out here. And it doesn't even catch it. Okay. Okay, we'll go ultra safe. Give me a raspberry and give me a great ball. And I totally went for it when it jumped. There we go. That was a bad throw, too. Oh, I'm struggling with my throws in the clutch here. I need to catch this, this polywag, and I'm choking. If I didn't have so many... Oh, if I didn't have so many great balls, I wouldn't be using them, but... I do. And how did that not count as a hit? I hit its foot. That's like a half the time it counts it. Like, at half the time it'll give you the, okay, you hit it. Good job. Uh, and then half the time it's like, nah... The foot doesn't count. That's like a 50-50 part of the Pokemon that sometimes counts and sometimes I don't. We're up to 109. I think there's a Spearow over here. Yes, there is. I don't see a lot of Spearows, so I go ahead and catch them when I find them. They aren't a big deal because I already have a pretty decent Fero. I think I have a little, like a 1060 Fero, so I'm not like too big of a deal caring about Fero or Spearows, but... You know, when they come around, I might as well catch them. I think I'm actually getting close. Uh, if you're wondering what that noise is, it's my windshield wipers. I have them on so it stops my stupid uh, windshield from fogging up because I have that issue. Okay, I think I should be able to spin these again. No, I can't. All right, so we've got a little bit of time left on this. Maybe one or two more spawns. We'll see if we can find uh, anything we need. If not, I'll catch you with the eggs. Um, I'll catch you with the... the the, four, the three 5k eggs. Gosh, I couldn't get my words together, but I'll catch you with those guys. The, those. All right, I guess I'll qualify this as interesting. We've got ourselves at Goldeen here. So let's go ahead and catch. Oh, 38 Comet Power. This should be pretty easy to catch, which is always nice. I either want, my, I either want the Pokemon I find in the wild to be really strong or really weak. Take your pick because. They're just, I want them to be easy to catch, or I just want them to be strong. If they're not either of those, it's kind of annoying. guess we can go ahead and catch our little Rattata over here. Should actually be getting close to two evolutions. So that's 2,000 more experience. Yay! It's taken. It takes so long to get to level 30. It took me, like, no time to get to level 20. That was, like, not too long. Like, that was a, that was a long time ago. And now it's just the, the uh, yeah, okay, yeah, we can do two evolutions. It's just the utter grind right now. So let's spin these again. Yeah, that's a pretty bad one. I don't want revives or potions. I have plenty. Is that a magic carp that just spawned? It is. My incense produced a magic carp. Okay, so right here, once we capture this magic carp, guys, we are going to be more than halfway to Gyarados. So we are still a heck of a long way away, but we're getting there. We are getting there to Gyarados. I really wish I could get a 200 Magic Carp because um, I know it's possible. I've seen people with 200 Magic Carps, and that would just be beastly. We got another car pulling in, dude. It's a good thing these lures are almost done. I'm ready to get out of here and get away from all these people that keep pulling up to my lure spots. All right, so we are back after the little uh, nighttime. Pokemon Go wrap up to the art exhibit video and we've got an egg popping off. I think this might be the 2k. If it is, I'm gonna be disappointed. I'm gonna have to go. No, that's a 5k and that is a Rhyhorn. That brings up, up, up 41 candies. We are one Rhyhorn away from a Rhydon out of an egg. It sounds like I haven't seen a Rhyhorn in the wild, so I'm gonna have to get it out of an egg to get the Rhydon. But I think 652 is my highest, and that should mean more 5k eggs to pop off here, and maybe a 2k. I'm going to pop my garage door open. I'm actually, like, in my driveway here. Yes, a Nidoran male. Now, I really wish that was Nidoran female, but we will take a Nidoran male. That bumps us up to 93 Nidoran male candies, and now should have one more egg to pop off. Growlithe? Can I get a Growlithe or a Nidoran female? All right, I'll take an Ekans. This might actually mean I can get a Arbok. 
It does. I can get an Arbok now. Uh, so I am going to pop... Okay, we've got... I think this is a 2KM egg popping off now. There should be the 2KM. Yeah, and it's Pidgey. That no one wants. Okay. What is on my... Oh my gosh, there's a seal on my nearby list. You have got to be kidding me, dude. Ah, finally I could find the seal. I need one more seal for a dugong. I literally need one more seal for a dugong. But let's pop a lucky egg off. I'm going to do some other evolutions on my own. But I think it's time we got ourselves an Arbok. So, let's see. I have no idea what the multiplier is on Atkins to Arbok. But let's go ahead and pop this off. 459 Ekans. I'm hoping for like an 1100 Arbok, I guess. I'm going to pull my car into my garage while he's evolving here. All right, Arbok, register him in the Pokédex here in a second. And let's pray for a beastly, a beastly Arbok. Um, that's not the definition of beastly at 9, nine. Okay, I got to make him over 1,000. All right, well, 1,017. Pretty garbage Arbok, but we'll take it. New Pokémon. What are we at? I think that makes me at 99. Yes, 99 Pokemon caught, 99 seen. Obviously, I could get over, though. I could get to 100 easily, but I don't need to. There's no reason to at this point. But we are making that nice little grind. We're getting extremely close to Dugong. We're extremely close to Rhydon. We're extremely close to none of those down there. Uh, we're extremely close to Polyrath. We're extremely close to Nieder, Nido Queen and Nido Queen and Nido King. We're extremely close to those. I could get a Charmeleon, and I am really close to get being able to get a War Turtle, but I don't really see the point of that. Uh, but guys, that's going to do it for this episode. The seal has already disappeared from my sightings list, so that kind of makes me feel good that I that I couldn't go search for it right now. So uh, it wasn't on there forever. So I definitely didn't. Definitely a good thing. Um, kind of makes me sad that I couldn't get that seal, but I think it's for the best. I will get the seal. We're so close to a dugong. I can't even believe it. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And let me know if you liked a little bit of a vloggy style that I did here. I can do a better vloggy style, but uh, like I said, it was kind of hard to record videos of the different... Um, uh, exhibit some of them didn't let me record them very well uh, there was some kind of there was some that relied more on sound than anything and I couldn't really pick up the sound well you had to be like in these individual chambers to pick up the sound so I couldn't do those there were a couple that were real dark and I couldn't get them to pick up on my camera no matter what I did so there was probably like 15 exhibits art exhibits that I couldn't these were massive art exhibits for most of them so uh, but I couldn't get a lot of them on video because there were either too many people and I just couldn't get a good video or they were too hard to record. But let me know if you guys liked a little bit of a different vloggy style. I thought I'd do something a little bit different, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out. All right, guys. So we are not going to get the eggs hatched. I've got about five more minutes. I could drive around, but there's no way I'm going to hatch it. So I'm just going to go ahead and head on out. We'll get all of that hatched in the next episode. It looks like there's a little bit of a traffic back up here. I'm not sure. I'm just going to go a different route because usually I got to turn left out here. But we'll hatch all eight of those eggs tomorrow. I did pick up another 5km as well. So we should be able to hatch eight 5km eggs tomorrow uh, and then regather some more eggs. Uh, eggs seem to be at this point for me in particular the best route uh, to uh, getting new Pokemon, or not new Pokemon, getting getting Pokemon that are, are worth it and whatnot. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep on hatching up 5km eggs. As you can see, traffic jam. But I'm going to go right out of here and then I'll keep talking as soon as I get turned out of here. All right. Um, so we've got all of that to take care of. Uh, I don't know what else I'm going to do in tomorrow's episode or if it'll just simply be an egg episode or whatnot, but 
I will get some stuff taken care of then and maybe we'll have a we'll, we'll be having an evolution episode here soon I don't have a whole lot saved up because I have been evolving a lot of stuff so I don't have much in the saved up department but I will get uh, some Pidgeys and needles and stuff saved up as well as we've got some other stuff to evolve a lot of it's not too important but we do have some stuff that is semi important to evolve as well as we just got to keep grinding up on some of those Pokemon that I really want to get. I'll probably be able to get to Poliwrath by the time that video comes out. I'll I'll restrain myself from evolving into Poliwrath immediately as soon as I get the seven more candies I need. I'll definitely hold off and I'll do it in the big evolution video. It's probably the final evolution that I do in that. But that is going to do it for this, this episode, guys. Hatching eggs in the rain. Um, I thought it's something different. We just hatched a bunch of eggs in this episode. Uh, I don't think it'll be too long of an episode either, so a little bit shorter of an episode for you guys, but I will catch you all in tomorrow's episode. Peace out, guys.